So, here I have taken a question in the relation that show that relation R defined by A B related with C D when A plus D is equals to B plus C on the set of N N means your domain is also from N and your uh, range is also from uh, natural numbers. So, is an equivalence relation. So, you have to prove that this is an is an equivalence relation. So, first thing that is very important that you have to understand this relation. So, what is the relation here? So, here you can see this R is given as A B related with C D and how it is related? When this A plus D is equals to B plus C. See this one is equals to sum of B plus C. Sum of the these two exterior ones, sum of these two is equal to sum of these two. So, this is the relation. So, first thing you have to understand uh, what exactly is the relation and here all these A, B, C and D belongs to the natural numbers. So, here to prove it, prove the relation uh, equivalence, we have to prove that the function, the relation. So, to prove it, uh, so prove this given relation equivalence, we have to prove that the given function is reflexive, symmetric or transitive. So, let us check it for reflexive. Now, you know uh, in reflexive, if your A, B, R, A, B belongs to this relation then you can say that it will be reflexive. So, let us check this for you can write it a plus b equals to b plus a. Now, is it true? So, you know that the sum uh, of two numbers is commutative. So, you can say that you can say that this is in r. So, that implies that R is reflexive. Now, we will check it for symmetric and here you can you have taken that A, B, R from set N. Now, we will check it for symmetric. Now, for symmetric let us take a, B, C, D, 4 elements that belongs to N. Now, for symmetric, what do you have to check? That A, B, how A, B related with C, D should be same as C, D, how C, D is related with A, B. So, if these two, this uh, relation and this relation are coming same, that means both these are in relation R. So, it will be symmetric. So, let us we will check whether these two are in relation R or not. So, here again you know that these two how these two are related. So, you know that this can be written as A plus D equals to B plus C. Now, for checking this in the relation you can write it as C plus B equals to D plus A. Now, if you will check this one sum of A plus D and sum of D plus A these two will be same and now sum of this and this both will be same. So, here you have seen both. So, here you have seen that both A, B, R, C, D and C, D, R, A, B are in relation R. Therefore, R is symmetric. So, now we have checked for reflexive also and symmetric also. Now, we will check for transitive. So, for transitive I have taken let us take uh, elements A, B, C, D, E and F that belongs to N. So, here what is the condition of trans transitive? If A, B or C, D is in the relation and also C D or this is also in the relation then if this and this are in the relation then you have to prove that if A B 
R is also related with this EF in this given relation, then it will be transitive. Now, for proving this, you know if the, this is in the relation, then you can write A plus D will be equals to B plus C. The same thing you can if these two are related, so you can write that C plus F will be equals to D plus E. So, give it make these two equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2. So, now, now to prove it transitive, we got the equation number 1 and 2 like this. So, now what you can do you can add so, we got the, these two equations. Now, uh, let us add equation 1 and 2. So, after adding 1 and 2, what you will get? A plus D plus C plus B F equals to B plus C. After adding, you will get this. Now, you can cancel out few things like A you can D you can cancel. C also you can cancel. So, you will get A plus F equals to B plus E. Then, the previous relation, these two are related. So, that means you can say that B is related with EF. Therefore, you can say that R is transitive. So, now we have proved that AB is related with CD and CD is related with EF and also this AB is also related with EF. So, all this is in the given relation. So, this given relation is transitive. So, now you can say uh, the R is an equivalence relation. as it is transitive, symmetric and reflexive.